Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. What are, you, what are your thoughts since you said that you were making, selling 10 a pop, damn near individual physical copies of tapes? Like, that's that was the consensus back then. Everybody getting it out the mud, out the trunk, to now where there's independent labels in the city, but there's no major labels. Do you feel like maybe because of that, that mindset that Texas niggas had then where we ain't need a, a label, we can do that shit independence wise? I not? mean, it's different. We don't have, we, we pretty much, for whatever reasons, I'm gonna just leave it at that. We're not as, we don't have a, a industry to like, really like how Atlanta is pretty much, they, they real industrial music wise, is real resourceful out there. They have an industry for that shit. They got a whole resourceful formula out there. I hear we ain't really got that shit. Like talking about, we do, but we don't have like the coalitions of DJs to where, they mounting up and we breaking music and we doing this. Niggas is more worried about, it's just like this here, if you drop something tomorrow, I drop something tomorrow, and the DJ be like, damn, he ain't give me the music. What nigga Future ain't get you the music? You jamming Future do shit. And it's like, we don't have pretty much a lot of people business, the way the business side of it is set up. I'ma just say this, I gotta, I gotta correctly Say the shit to where it ain't offending nobody. I ain't on that type of time. I'ma just say, industry wise, it's not enough structure to facilitate shit right now. Because you gotta think, everybody that's rapping don't understand a team structure that you need to facilitate shit. And a lot of people just doing shit based off, I got an Instagram page, I got a Facebook. I'ma just post shit on Facebook the algorithm then fucked that up now. Now that it's an algorithm because everything is monetized. Before Instagram had an algorithm and the Facebooks had an algorithm, nigga, it was a free file. You can drop something on that motherfucker, everybody see you got a million followers, you not even touching that million, what, you, what a lot of people don't know. You don't have access to that million because if, if you had full access to that million, it's no way that they can tax you or monetize this shit. They can't put a tax on none of this shit because it's a free file. You get the, the content is the king. So how do we minimize you seeing all that money and we can make some too because they pretty much gave you a free channel. It's like everybody got HBO, my nigga. Think about it. You work for HBO, you don't. You work for them and you can get a check, but HBO don't get nothing off you. But everybody got HBO. And you can jump on that bitch and put your TV show on that bitch. And boom, it's going down. You got all this popularity. You done ran up all these numbers. So they had to create an algorithm in order to monetize. Mm -hmm. And that's what algorithm is. Not now, when they created the algorithm, they had to double back and create an algorithm on top of that to control the shit. You know what I mean? What you say, how you say it. It got political. Because niggas was able to do too much and they had to create bylaws and laws to where if you doing some fuck shit, now we can watch it. It's just so much shit, bro. It's so much to that shit to why I say structure needed in a lot of shit. And niggas got so spoiled with social media where they felt like, I don't need no purposes. I don't need no manager. I don't need a label. I don't need this. Because you got to think of all the niggas that popped off a SoundCloud, it popped off YouTube. You got your Soldier Boys, you got your Six Nines. Them niggas got co followings now. And now they don't really need so much structure, but they were in areas that's highly structured. New York, highly structured. And it's a music, music industry there. Atlanta, music industry, highly structured. LA, music industry, they're highly structured. These were the places that you got to go to facilitate your music. Being that we in Texas, I'm going to just tell you this. We're the most vital because we the biggest and we the hub for so much shit. A nigga can sit in Texas alone and go platinum. Niggas did that. 